Hello my fellow dirt road travelers. We are on day two of Easter Jeep Safari. We're taking on Rose Garden Hill today. So come along with us. All right, my fellow dirt road travelers. So we're all aired down, we're ready to go. That is a huge group that we have with us today. It should be pretty awesome. So today's trail is a lot of beautiful shots, a lot of pretty things to see. The only difficult part today is going to be that hill climb. It is very loose soil with a lot of large boulders. And I've heard people get stuck going up and they also get stuck going down. So this is going to be completely interesting. So let's start this journey and let's get on the trail. <laughs> to the hill it is really hard for me to film right now it is really really windy we're having a storm blow in tomorrow they're saying it should rain possibly even snow so it's making it a little bit difficult for filming the dust is just crazy right now but the hill itself looks pretty gnarly let me show you All right, guys, you can hear I'm out of breath. I'm working for it right now. Whew. This hill is no joke and I'm climbing it. All right, let me show you what we kind of got. Super rocky. Let's get to the top and see what's going on. As you can see, it's soft. There's a lot of loose rocks. There's some shelves. It's pretty gnarly. Let's see who's next on this one. All right, guys, up next is the honey badger.
mean little honey badger. Okay guys, when you're faced with this shelf, remember everything's gonna change every time you come out here to this trail. But when you come up here, you wanna give it a little right, bump and you gotta now. keep that momentum going. Up next is gonna be DV8 and they're bringing up a brand new Bronco. Let's see how a Bronco does on this trail. Bronco line. Excellent, well done. DV8 definitely putting the work in today. Here coming up. 
not. No, keep coming. You're coming up. How was it? Uh, not that bad. Um, we had more height. Everything, everything <laughs> needs to be taller. That's just the name of the game. I feel like we're going to be spending some money soon. <laughs> I see it. Keep there you go. A little bit more. Okay. Come up. Driver. Right there. Keep it right there. Give her a little bit of juice. <laughs> All right, guys, that's the Nordic Jeep Pack. Go check them out on Instagram. We wheeled with them a few times. They're an awesome group of people. All right, guys, so this is the top. This is the finish line of the hill. Take a little breather for a few seconds. Enjoy the view. All right, guys, I hope you can hear me. The wind is terrible. We now have to go back down the hill. I like how you guys are just eating apples, just like... <laughs> what? I like how you're just eating apples, like just a drive in the park. <laughs> Another day on the mountain. <laughs> ah! You guys are rising! Thank you! There you go. wife makes All right guys, here comes that honey badger. <laughs> I know. Back to the start to drop. Okay, now come 
All right guys, so far this trail has been pretty awesome. I think it's been a lot of fun, but Miss Alice has some other things to say about it. It's a very disappointing seven. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the kid only wants to do uh, eights or more for the trail. So yes, this trail is rated a seven. It is a lot of fun. You're definitely gonna have to have some lockers, four by four and some clearance. What do you feel, Nate? Uh, the trail itself is easy. I mean, you can almost do the whole trail two wheel drive. The just uh, it's all of this hill. Yes. So that's the only real challenging spot is this hill. And you so. don't have to do it. You can turn around when you get to the hill and just go back. But what fun is just going back? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But the hill, it's it's not that bad. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure different times of the year, different weather conditions, you know, everything's going to change constantly. So. It might be really hard when you come, and it wasn't that bad for us. Luckily. Exactly. All right, guys, I think our trail guides have a little bit more up in store for us, so let's get back to the trail. guys currently we are on hideout canyon road i don't know where this is going to take us because i wasn't paying attention during the driver's meeting so we're gonna find out it's gonna be a surprise for you it's gonna be a surprise for me so let's get on the trail So that was the scenic overlook where you can find the dinosaur fossil footprints. They're pretty awesome to see. I couldn't talk out there because the wind was terrible and it was freezing. But we're about to make our descent down through, what is it called, Nate? Castle Valley? Yeah, I think that's what he called it. Okay, all right. So we're gonna make our descent now. Let's see what kind of footage I can get you. Just Valley. It was absolutely breathtaking. I wish I could have got you guys some better footage, but unfortunately it is so windy I cannot fly my drone. But if you're out in Moab and you get a chance, definitely drive down there and check it out. It is worth the drive. Now that trail today was freaking amazing, right Nate? Yeah, the trail was incredible. The views from that trail are spectacular. I mean, there's views everywhere on that trail. And uh, it's kind of hard to drive the trail, you're looking around so much. And then the hill climb, add a little excitement to it. And the descent down the hill, that was also a blast. So overall, it was definitely a great day on a great trail with some great people. Yep, and you know what? If you guys go out there, please take someone with you if you're gonna do the hill because it is constantly changing. And in case you get stuck, you're gonna need someone to help you winch you out. But that's just a little word of advice from us. Well, we're done for the today. You guys know the drill. We're tired, hungry, and dirty, and that's gonna be the end of this dirt road journey. Bye, guys. <laughs>